In the new book, The Boomerang Principle, Tina is standing by now with the author. Oh, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd say 22 years come up in July for me. <laughs> oh, that's oh, right. My that's goodness. awesome. Lee Carraher is uh, with us right now, and this is very interesting because we're talking about how employers, I guess, treat employees, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the boomerang effect is so they stay loyal forever. Yes. Okay, we're all ears. <laughs> we're all ears. So, listening. <laughs> Listen now. Uh, so, you know, companies all over the country uh, and all over California are really focusing on why are people leaving me so fast? Why aren't they staying very long? And they what is the usual uh, time? In that they California, spend? it's um, people under 30 stay less than two years, and wow. people over between 30 and 50 are staying four to five years. You know, you just 10 years ago, the average tenure was five to 10 years, and 30 years ago it was 40 to 50 years, right. you know? So everything's uh, topsy-turvy because of the economy, because of what, how companies have treated their people. But um, they're, you know, companies and leaders are just you know, freaking out, basically, because they're putting all this effort into their people, and they're, not, they're still leaving. And why aren't they, why aren't they uh, loyal to me anymore? Okay. Why should they be loyal? They need to take care of themselves. Employees know they have to craft their own careers. And stop worrying about them leaving early and start worrying about them staying loyal to you for their whole lives and that will create a sustainable business and I'm here to show people how to do that. All right, let's show you some of the bullet points here. You said lifetime loyalty from employers. Yep. Okay. And employees, both. All this right. way. Well, I'm looking at the other way. How do employers need to treat the employees so yeah. they have a lifetime loyalty? So you create a place to come back to, the boomerang principle, that you want to have people come back. Whether they be employees again or customers? Correct, customers or partners or whatever, right? right? The only way you do that, which is a sustainable business model, is if you're treating people well. If you help them get where they want to go. Okay. Right? And we, each of us, all of us in this room, have our own career goals right. that we, can, uh, we want to achieve ourselves. And we're going to go through different companies to achieve them. Okay, we got to go over these quickly here. Talent, yeah. talent brands versus employment brands, yeah. what do you mean? So we, we all are familiar with the concept of the best places to work. Mm -hmm. The new thing is going to be where the best people work. Oh. where the best talent is, because the best talent wants to be around other best talent. It's not about all the perks and ping pong tables and foosballs and all that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's about how do you get the best people in the room. And stay. And stay. All right. Or come Bu back. Okay, build an alumni club. Yes. So you know how colleges and high schools have alumni clubs that right. people, you know, give, pe give money to and they recruit for their colleges and their, re in right. their high schools. Okay. What I'm saying is every company should have their own alumni club. So once they leave you, they're incented to come back to you. Okay. They don't have to ask them for money, though. It's awesome. All right. And employees coming back, you said. And you're saying you want women to write more books. What do you mean? So one of the reasons I wrote this book was because they're not, there's almost no women on the l book list of uh, what entrepreneurs should read to run a company. It's all men. However, more than half of the companies in this country are run by women. So we need more women, like myself, <laughs> who write books about how to lead a company, not just about these awesome books by women about how to be a great woman business person. All right. Okay, so how do we get your book, Boomerang Principle? So where is it available? So it's on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, independent bookstores. You can go in, into stores or get it online. One piece of advice that you want to leave us. Yes. Uh, if you are in charge of your own career, so when you leave a company, don't be stupid. Make sure that you are boomerang eligible by being thankful as you leave a company. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Lee. There you go. It's called Boomerang Principle. What were those little comments I hear over there? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. What?